hi good day this video is about how to replace a broken fuse in an mgzs slash mgzs ev and my vehicle here is a right hand drive and my cigar lighter stopped working for some reason right and i suspected that the fuse was broken right how do you find that fuse box right so here you can see there are two screws here there's one screw there Okay, and then there is another screw there so you have to remove those two screws right one screw here and simple thing a second screw here right and once you remove that if you remove that clip there right it just to pull out and once you remove that clip you should be able to access a fuse box right here okay and it's facing downwards you should be able to access a fuse box right here and it would be facing downwards in the first row of fuses the third fuse from the outer side so there would be a 5 ampere fuse and there would be a 5 ampere fuse in the next one and the third fuse would be a 15 amp fuse the third fuse is the one that controls the 12 volt cigar lighter so all you have to do is pull that fuse out so within that fuse this thing uh, fuses you should also see a little clipper a caliper right you could use that to pull out this fuse catch the fuse and pull it out and replace it with a new one right you should preferably replace it with the same amps of fuse right so if you are if you have pulled out a 15 amps fuse you should not replace it with a 20 amp fuse because that could damage the equipment that's inside the vehicle you replace it with the same amps of fuse right and you should be able to get things back working right so there are three two screws here one screw there and one screw there right and then that clip that you just have to pull out you see that one yeah and once you do that your 12 volt cigar lighter could be could start working back again right the if you are still unsure about which fuse you want to change and stuff you could check the online uh, online manual it's also on the infotainment system the manual is on is on the infotainment system itself where you could check the fuse diagram and know which particular fuse is allocated for which particular function on your car okay um, it's always nice to carry a a set of spare fuses right like you could have a few 5 amps a few 10 amps and a few 15 and a few 20 amps sp spare fuses spare mini fuses within your glove box just in case you ever need to use them okay so if you see some electronic thing not working the most likely and common cause for that would be that a fuse is broken and you just have to replace that particular fuse right so there's one fuse box here that's facing downwards right if you are able to if you take out the glove box if you remove these two clips here you should be able to see the see the fuse box but it would be facing downwards so you wouldn't be able to do anything with it the only way to work with it is to remove this little screw here again and that little screw there yeah here okay and the clip there right this and next plastic clip down there at that corner there let me show that to you yeah that four right so there's one clip there and there's one clip here too so if you remove these two and these two screws the entire plastic thing would come out but if you are able to remove just this one you should be able to have this whole thing hanging down and should be able to work on your car okay yeah hope this helps someone